Welcome back. A lot of people will tell you they know someone who probably speeds a little while they're driving. But neighbors who live on Morgan Road in Macon say a lot of them seem to come right through their neighborhood and it's driving them crazy. Jessica Chaw went out to see what they're concerned about. Signs entering Morgan Drive say that the speed limit is 25 and that there are children at play. But folks say that cars rarely drive at the speed limit. Check it out. All day, every day and all night as well. My name is Dominique. I live on Morgan Drive and it's driving me crazy. Dominique Stroud, her husband and four kids have lived here for just over a year. The cars that do come down the street, they come extremely fast. She says her kids love to play, but the houses here don't have much of a front yard and the speeding makes her nervous. So it's not that they can't play, it's, it's really dangerous for them to play. So I try to keep them in the backyard. Strout says a lot of people here walk and deserve to feel safe. That needs to be changed. Something needs to be done about that. So we'll just go back out there and conduct another speed study. Making Bibbs traffic engineer Nigel Floyd says they've looked at Morgan Drive before. Uh, back in 2018, we had some complaints about speeding down Morgan Drive and we did a speed study on Morgan Drive. Floyd says the results showed most drivers did not exceed 10 miles over the posted speed limit, so no speed humps were installed. So what we did, we uh, added additional speed limit signs along with children at play signs. Those are the ones you see now, but Floyd says they'll install traffic counters for a week. They'll track how many cars use the street each day and how fast they travel. If the uh, Study shows us that that is not a, a speeding problem, then we don't recommend speed humps. However, under engineering judgment, if I feel like you know speed humps are required, then I can you know recommend that they go in. In Macon, Jessica Chaw, 13 WMAZ News. And Nigel Floyd said those speed humps after the speed study would only be installed if a petition is signed by over 70% of folks who live in the neighborhood. He says their department will try and conduct, conduct that study in the next month. And if something is driving you crazy, we'd love to hear from you. Just send us an email at news at 13wmaz.com with the subject line, driving me crazy.